Fonds and Petals, India's leading gifting platform, has launched a special Mother's Day collection featuring personalized and curated gift. The collection includes flower bouquet, cake, plant, chocolate, and more, catering to various interests and personalities. The question stands: How far is this aimed at? Hi, everybody. Pavan Garia, global CEO and director at Fonds and Petals, highlighted the collection's focus on personalized options. Aiming to help people find the perfect gift for their mothers, Fonz and Petals ensures hassle-free delivery across India and worldwide, allowing everyone to express love and appreciation for their mothers, regardless of their location. Now, the above scenario is more aligned with the marketing principles of customer centricity. The value proposition lies in the emotional significance attached to the gift, as well as the convenience of hassle-free delivery. By leveraging its robust service network for hassle-free delivery across India and worldwide, Phones and Petals demonstrates the principles of market orientation. They are attentive to the diverse needs of customers across different regions and strive to provide seamless service regardless of geographical location. After conducting a few surveys of the website and researching about who all frequently use phones and petals for gift and their advertisements, we identified several key demographics. Now the question is, why focus on these? Number one is busy lifestyle and convenience preference. Research indicates that busy professionals and bachelors often prioritize convenience in their purchasing decision due to time constraints and hectic schedules. For instance, a study by Nielsen found that 45% of consumers globally prioritize convenience in their shopping habits. For example, a working professional may opt for online gifting platforms like Forms and Petals to save time and effort, especially when seeking last-minute gifts for special occasions. Number two is emotional connection and long-distance relationship. Studies have shown that individuals who live away from their loved ones often seek alternative ways to maintain emotional connection and express affection. Research by the Journal of Communication found that maintaining communication and engaging in shared activities are crucial for long distance. For example, a young person studying abroad may rely on phones and petals to send flowers or gifts to their family back home on occasions like Mother's Day or Diwali, fostering a sense of closeness despite physical distance. Number three is socio-economic status and quality preference. Higher education and income levels are often associated with greater purchasing power and willingness to invest in tedium products or experiences. The research published in a journal of consumer research suggests that consumers with higher income intend to prioritize quality over price. For example, a young professional with a well-paying job may choose phones and petals, premium flower arrangement, or customized gift hampers to convey the depth of their affection and appreciation for the loved ones. Number four is symbolism and sentimentality of gift giving. Psychological research highlights the symbolic significance of gift giving as a means of expressing emotions, strengthening social bonds, and conveying thoughtfulness. Studies in the Journal of Consumer Research emphasize the importance of meaningful gestures in interpersonal relationship. For example, a person who immensely loves flowers may opt for phones and petals, personalized flower bouquets, or potted plants to convey their love and admire for a friend or a family member on a special occasion. Number five is geographic diversity and regional preferences. Market research has shown that consumer preferences and behaviors can vary significantly across different geographic regions due to cultural, economic, and social factors. For example, a study by McKinsey and Company highlights the importance of understanding local customs and traditions in global market strategies. For example, Phones and Petals may customize its product offering and marketing campaigns to cater to specific regional preferences and occasions, such as promoting traditional flower arrangements like for festivals in Durga Puja in Kolkata or Ganesh Chaturthi in Mumbai. And number six is generational dynamics and targeted messaging. Generational research suggests that different age groups have distinct values, preferences, and communication styles. For instance, millennials are often characterized as valuing experiences and authenticity, while baby boomers may prioritize tradition and family. 
For example, phones and petals could tailor its marketing messages and product assortment to resonate with the preference of different age group, such as highlighting eco-friendly and suitable options for environmentally conscious millennials, or offering classic flower arrangements for traditionalist baby boomers. Hope you liked the video. Let's unlock together your full potential and achieve remarkable success in the world of business. If you are new to the channel, do like, share and subscribe for more such content related to business and finance. Till then, goodbye everyone.